who can replace Brian Flores and right the ship that is the Miami Dolphins? The Miami Dolphins should be AFC title contenders. After stealing a collection of first-round picks from the Houston Texans, drafting one of the most anticipated rookie quarterbacks of the last decade, and the New England Patriots' decade of dominance in the AFC East ending, the Dolphins should be a top-five team in the AFC. However, they are not. Many will point to the disappointing performances of Tua Tungavailoa as part of the problem. Others will point to the team overachieving in 2020, setting unrealistic expectations for the team moving forward. However, the man who must carry the largest amount of the blame is head coach Brian Flores. Brian Flores has been praised in recent years for his work with the Dolphins and for helping fix the disaster that previous head coach, Adam Gase, has left him. However, the NFL is, what have you done for me lately, league, and Flores has nothing to show as of late besides missing the playoffs in 2020, and a tanked season in 2021. Brian Flores has been on the hot seat since the beginning of the season, but after a loss to the Buffalo Bills and a miserable 1-7 start to the season, Flores' seat is on fire at this point. Who can the Dolphins bring in to replace Flores and potentially right the wrongs? Eric Bienyama, Offensive Coordinator, Kansas City Chiefs. This one continues to be obvious, so it continues to open every list of potential head coaching hires. The Chiefs' 2021 offensive performance may be starting to make some teams wary of Eric Bienyama, and rightfully so. The Chiefs have moved the ball effectively and scored points, but also lead the league in turnovers. However, when evaluating Eric Bienyama, just looking at 2021 is deceptive. In 2019 and 2020, the Chiefs' offense was unstoppable and well coached, which is reflective of the leadership of Ebb. Patrick Mahomes' progression as a responsible passer in 2019 and 2020 was largely thanks to the leadership of Eric Bienyama, as well as Mike Kafka. The Dolphins have a ton of questions on the roster not the smallest of which revolves around the quarterback situation. If the Dolphins want to make sure whichever man is under center in 2022 is ready, they need Eric Bienyama. Greg Roman, Offensive Coordinator, Baltimore Ravens. The Miami Dolphins have taken their time answering a very important but very simple question, is Tua Tungavailoa the future of the Miami Dolphins? The Dolphins' front office has avoided answering that question for almost a year now, using every play in the book to get out of facing the hard truth. If the Dolphins want to hang on to Tua Tungavailoa, then they have to bring in a head coach capable of coaching him and getting him NFL ready. Enter Greg Roman, the mastermind behind Lamar Jackson's success in Baltimore. If anyone in the NFL is capable of taking Tua and finding a way to make him work, it will be the man who blew up the Joe Flacco offense and converted it into a viable offense for Lamar Jackson. Greg Roman was also the offensive coordinator behind the 2012 San Francisco 49ers, led by Colin Kaepernick. There is no quarterback that Roman cannot elevate to title contention. The only concern for Roman would be the fact that his entire career has been closely tied to the Harbaugh's. Finally moving away from being under the Harbaugh's wings may not be something Roman is interested in right now. Kevin O'Connell, offensive coordinator, Los Angeles Rams. Maybe this pick is a season too early but the reality is that as long as the Rams continue to perform the way they do, O'Connell will be the hottest head coaching candidate in a few years. Sean McVay has made it abundantly clear that O'Connell is a vocal and vital piece of the Rams coaching staff, and that he deserves a lot of credit for their success this season. His play calling and leadership have helped elevate a Rams offense that should still be getting comfortable and getting more familiar with the changes made this offseason. The Dolphins have the offensive pieces available that O'Connell can use to turn the Dolphins into an AFC title contender. The biggest question mark would likely be the quarterback position, but the Dolphins have a plethora of options there. From there, he would just need a competent defensive coordinator to take over the defensive play calling, preferably a coach with experience coaching linebackers. Why the Miami Dolphins need to start trading assets now the Miami Dolphins are rumored to be considering trades for a couple of players but while they probably won't, they definitely should. Right now, we should absolutely forget about Deshaun Watson. It will be far too costly and frankly, this regime is not likely to be around by the time those picks get passed to Houston. Forget about whether or not he ever plays. If Chris Greer and Brian Flores believe Watson can save their jobs for another year, they will pull that trigger. This is where Stephen Ross should step in and say no. There is some internet rumblings that Tua Tungavailoa may be available but those are not confirmed to be actual rumors and at this point it is more conjecture than speculation. Tua shouldn't be traded. Not yet. 
he should play this year out and if Flores can't get off this one win train and gets fired, it should be up to the next coach whether or not Tua stays. All of that being said, Miami needs to start looking to move some players. Xavier Howard, it's unclear what is wrong with Howard but he sure doesn't play like he wants to be with Miami. The Dolphins gave him a restructured contract that got him more money just like he wanted and he has basically done nothing to warrant the change. If the Dolphins get an offer for him, they absolutely should consider it. During the offseason many believed that the sell point was at its highest in August and that very well may have been the case but that doesn't mean there isn't tremendous value in the market for him now. Miami should consider it, he is the best defender on this team that is showing more and more like he really doesn't want to be here. Devontae Parker Parker had a good day against the Bills on Sunday and showed why he is a valuable receiver in this Dolphins offense but Parker has paid a lot of money and spends too much time inactive because of nagging injury. Some pointed out that the three games Parker misses each year are fine considering how well he plays in the others he is active for. That isn't a good argument to make. Consider that while he has the potential to be great, he isn't consistent enough to be relied upon. The Dolphins should move on from him after the season but if they can get anything for him now, they should. 2022 is going to be an interesting year. The Dolphins will have a lot of cap space but faith in Greer and Flores to use that money to get better is questionable. There simply doesn't appear to be a plan moving forward, nothing that shows the direction that the two are taking this team. It feels more of a case of throwing darts to see what sticks.